Hi, this is Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextral Gunfighter. This is episode two in our EMP series, Electromagnetic Pulse series. And episode one covered EMPs and GMDs, geomatic disturbances, and why you should protect some of your assets against these threats. In this case, we'll be looking at securing the motive power of our bug out vehicle with EMP shield. Our current bug out vehicle is a 2003 Newmar Class A motor coach. But in previous years, our bug out vehicle has been a sailing vessel, ranging from a 32 foot uh, O'Day center cockpit to a 44 foot Spindrift pilot house uh, to a um, Pearson 367 junk rig sailboat. I suggest check out uh, Matt Bracken's article, uh, Get a 30 Footer and Go. It's excellent. Link in the description. Now, a bug out vehicle's primary purpose is to establish distance from the unprepared and the desperate. If it can provide immediate shelter, that's even better. Hence, a camper, an RV, a sailboat, a powerboat, or a houseboat. Now, I don't necessarily regard a genset as mission critical for a bug out vehicle, but in episode four, we will be looking at doing an EMP shield on our generator. We are installing a 200 watt solar panel for very rudimentary electric needs. You know, keep the batteries topped off, charge the electronics, run the ham radio, and we'll look at doing a video on protecting a solar setup in episode 5. A tiny wood stove would be a useful EMP resistant addition to our coach. We uh, did have a rather exciting little Dickinson wood stove in our uh, Pearson 367. Another EMP resistant uh, recommendation for your bug out vehicle would be a mountain bike. It's one of the most versatile means of area transportation that you can bring, carry, carry with you. Uh, no fuel and uh, EMP is probably not going to affect your mountain bike unless it affects you. The generous wiring harness on the EMP shield, this is the model DC12VW, is gas and oil resistant. That's very nice. The ring connector crimps are very secure and the fuse receptacle is of very high quality. Now for marine use I would like to see anchor ring connectors and maybe anchor tinned wiring to prevent corrosion in the saltwater environment. But anyway since uh, I'm going to install this in my motorhome if we still had a sailboat I'd want to look at protecting all of the boats power plant electronics and starting circuit. Uh, it'd suck for a bug out day to be windless. And unless I had an old 10 horsepower SAB without such liabilities. So presumably you'd want to protect any onboard electrical generation besides the auxiliary power plants alternator, things like solar, wind, etc. And if you have a ham radio or SSB radio, you'd want to protect the antenna inputs as well. Now the MP Shield's waterproof gray box is filled with a black epoxy to protect the electronics. So it's a black box inside of a gray box. The response time is less than a nanosecond and it will reset to handle multiple follow-up hits and that is why you might want to install an EMP shield on your solar installation rather than just carry spare solar charge controllers. EMP shield is, is thoroughly tested to uh, 50,000 volts per meter, which is the current U.S. military standard. Unfortunately, the Russian Federation is believed to have HEMP weapons that will generate up to 100,000 volts per meter. I believe the EMP shield has actually been tested uh, up to 90,000 volts. Well, it ain't a perfect world. It's all about improving your odds, not necessarily being 100% secure. EMP Shield offers a nice warranty, but really if an EMP or geomagnetic disturbance takes down the grid, 
and it takes down your vehicle, there probably isn't going to be much recourse warranty wise. Confidence comes from the rather extensive testing done by EMP Shield. So anyway, I was planning to do the installation while camping up in the Bighorn Mountains. It would really suck if EMP Day snuck up on me with this device sitting in the drawer waiting for the ideal scenic background backdrop for this video. Installation is very easy. The unit includes an abundant wiring harness. So find a smooth, flat surface for the 3M adhesive pad to adhere to. Clean it with a degreaser like Simple Green, and then wipe clean with some rubbing alcohol. And then let thoroughly dry. The adhesive is pretty stout. I even used it to mount uh, a new automatic electric switch in our coach, which weighs much more than EMP Shield. Route the wires to the battery. I use some flexible split conduit to help contain and protect the three wires and zip tied them every eight to 10 inches. The connections are simple. The green wire goes to the chassis. Now I had this convenient stud on my chassis where an EMP surge could be shunted. Now the black wire connects to the negative terminal on the battery and the red wire connects to the positive terminal pretty easy. My battery has some marine accessory terminals that makes things even easier. Once connected, the little green light will light on the EMP shield. If you're not getting the green light, check that your connections are correct and that the 20 amp inline fuse is not blown or is not fully seated. Easy peasy. So now I think I'll go have a beer, watch the sunset, and wait for an EMP or CME to hit. EMP Shield products are offered to protect homes, vehicles, RV, shore power, generators, solar systems, wind generators, ham, SSB antennas. They even have done telecommunications central office EMP deployments. So if you feel deprived of some excellent scenery, check out our Raggedy Edge Adventure channel at uh, www.raggedyedge.net or on youtube.com slash raggedy edge. Uh, featuring our sailing adventures, RV nomad living, mountain biking, and more. So check out EMP Shield at empshield.com. There'll be a link down in the description. And um, also, be sure and check out the uh, EMPShield.com. Check out their library. They have a, a complete library of information on electromagnetic pulse as well as geomagnetic disturbances. In the next episode, we'll be checking out the RV version of the EMP Shield, which is basically a, a 110 powered, uh, 50, I guess a 15 amp uh, help that you can plug in uh, smaller RVs basically with uh, uh, and provide some protection from your shore power be good for uh, boats and and RVs I do, I do believe it's Mark Laughlin with the Ambidextral Gunfighter thanks for watching please like share and subscribe